sure glad I have editing software I can edit most of this out. Okay, the question from uh, Brian, well, I'm going to tell you the last name, from Brian was, hey, I've got a chance to buy a pickup. I'm working out of a small car right now, but i got a chance to buy a pickup. What opportunities can I use to make money with my pickup? And basically, that's paraphrasing. So I come up with at least seven. Number five and number seven, most of y'all probably won't do, can't do. But you'll probably make the most money at them. Let me just say this. As much, many things there are you can make money with your pickup truck. You can make so much more if you have a trailer as well. Uh, junk removal. Put you some of the plywood sides on it. Four foot, make them four foot sides, and bam, paint them. You can advertise on the side of them, and, and you increase the capacity of your trailer. Man, it was cold out there. I had to come in and warm up. So, how are we going to make money with a pickup? Like I said, there is a bunch of ways to make money with a pickup. Um, number one, you can start a junk removal business. Now, I have a, I think it's going to be one of these corners. There'll be a um, link to my side hustle junk removal business video here on YouTube. So, you basically I got some Craigslist ads, Facebook, Facebook, and um, Nextdoor have been my best um, Facebook ads and, and Nextdoor ads and word of mouth on the local Facebook groups have been my best um, avenue for getting work through junk removal. Uh, I don't do much of it anymore. I don't quite enjoy it. Uh, it's either like it is now freezing outside and everything you touch is freaking cold or it's 110 and everything you touch metal wise burns you or you're dealing with wasps and snakes and stuff so, ugh, i just don't do that but there's you know the the dude who started 1-800 junk was a college kid when i bought an old pickup and started all in junk okay now he's got one he owns 1-800 junk million multi-million dollar a year business so uh, people do very well on uh, junk removal. So start your junk removal business. Number two. You can start a hauling service. And by this I mean, um, you know, these people that drive the Priuses and compact cars and stuff like that and then they need you know 28 two by fours from home depot how are they going to get them home well or they went and bought a you know side-by-side -side refrigerator they need somebody to haul it because the place they bought it doesn't offer delivery or the delivery charge is 300 dollars you know whatever they need somebody to haul it myself i need somebody to haul me a 20-foot culvert um once I get serious about getting it and digging the ditch out and all that, but you know, so so there's a, a need for people to haul uh, stuff. Um, that investor later I work for, she's a she's a gardener extraordinaire, and I can't tell you how many times she was paid me to go to Home Depot pick up mulch, topsoil, fertilizer, plants, all that, hauling back to her house. She has a little kind of SUV, Toyota or something, Nissan or something, I don't know. And so she pays me to go to Home Depot or Lowe's or the garden center and, and get her, her stuff. And um, I, I see requests all the time uh, on my local Facebook group. People need somebody to go get them something. So, you know, there again, local Facebook groups, Nextdoor app, stuff like that. 
probably let go and, and and those apps like that will be your source of income so just make sure you charge accordingly you're not doing this for free remember that moving service i hate moving but the there's an the old saying says if you got a pickup you got friends or if you have a trailer you have friends so and that's pretty much true if you got a pickup or a trailer sooner or later somebody's going to be calling you up asking you to help them move and i've done it i'm buku's time i don't like moving i hate moving furniture and it always seems i'm the one that gets called to do it uh, there again, huge multi-million dollar companies have been started, moving companies have been started by somebody with just a pickup and a trailer sometimes moving. Um, you can do this with, with just a pickup. There again, if you got a trailer, you can make more money. And um, just don't, again, don't sell yourself short. You're going to need probably less than $200 of supplies and probably less than 100 if you really play it right you can go down to harbor freight get your appliance dolly furniture dolly some moving blankets and you'll be set to go uh some packages of straps or so from walmart strap your stuff down um what else do you need because that 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 will get you going right there Um, uh, number four, I think we're on, is a courier service. If you live in, in a, from a mid-sized to a huge city, courier services are huge. And they're not always just delivering letters like a lot of people think. Um, it can be packages. It can be, you know, this, this, if you have a van, let me, you know, if you have a van, this will work probably better than if you have a pickup. But if all you got is a van, you can do these things too, most of these things too. So don't feel left out. You, well, I just have a three-quarter or one-ton cargo van. I can't do nothing. Yeah, you can do most of these things too. Um, but there are companies all the time needing something taken over to this location or they sold a couple boxes of this and this company 200 miles away they need that today hey can you deliver this you bet okay couriers do very well some of them you can actually get um dedicated routes but usually that's that that will, takes you a while to to get dedicated routes that takes usually you showing them been in business for a while and you've proven that you're you're responsible and that you can deliver what you promise number five and here is uh spe kind of specialized number five is um a hot shot service for those who don't know, know what a hot shot service is it's and you will you will probably at minimum need a flatbed pickup, but that's three quarter or one ton. Yeah, I know people do regular box uh, on their pickup, but not very many. And you really, if you really want to make the money, you'll get a trailer, a gooseneck trailer with um, heavy axles, at least 7,500 pound axles, bigger than that, if you can, depend on what you want to haul. But uh hot shot service is real very popular in areas that have a lot of oil industry or or just a mechanical industry machine shops you know welding shops they're always hauling needing stuff hauled to and fro but uh, even trucking companies will use hot shot services to run uh, you know less than truckload ltl freight um Probably if you're starting off in that though, unless you've got a track on the inside, you're probably going to want to start with um, a company doing that. But you play your cards right, you can make a lot of money with hot shop service, and you may probably need, you will need a CDL. 
um, you can take a C class A CDL test in your one ton pickup pulling a flatbed trailer. That's how I got my CDL. Uh, I hear these, you know, I don't know how many times I got in an argument with the truck drivers. Like, you can't get a CDL unless you got air. You can't get a class A unless you got air. Um, yes, yes, you can. Um, air will be a restriction on your license. I took my Class A CDL in a one-ton Dodge pulling a 32 flatbed, 32 foot flatbed trailer. My test lasted every bit of 10 minutes. Drive down the road, went down this, you know, showed them I could turn without running in the ditch. Showed them I could back it up. You know, he, he said, stop in the road, ain't nobody coming. Back up a couple feet for me. Let me see if you can back the trailer. Showed them all that. Okay, let's go back. I didn't get air until I moved to Houston and started driving for Napa Auto Parts. Then I went down, um, talked to this guy who rented 18 wheelers out to, for these people to take their test. I said, I just need my air test. And he goes, okay, meet me down here at such and such, set it up with a testing center, I'll be there. Uh, he goes, I've got a couple guys taking their CDL test. So, went in. Made appointment with a lady. Come time, they come back. She goes, okay, let's get in there. She gave me, you know, t takes everybody two minutes to run through the air test. Okay. Went on, got my license. It's a restriction. It's not a, an endorsement where you don't have to take your air test to get your Class A CDL. Or you didn't 20 years ago. Um, a lot of people think you do. Because they had to. I had to. It's the Class A CDL is a, a national, you know, Uncle Sam type thing. It's not a state. Okay, number six. Pallets, guys. Pallets, pallets, pallets. Are you picking up pallets? They're free. It's like picking up a five to seven dollar bill every time you leave one, pick them one up. You can sell these things. I used to, when I was picking up pallets regularly, I bundle them and usually, you know, threes or fives and sell them on Facebook. I make more money that way. They don't move as quick. But, you know, if you got a place to hold them, I, I don't sell pallets by the piece. Some people will take pallets to the pallet companies, the, the distribution companies. And they get a couple, two bucks for them or something. If you're a go-getter, you can go to these companies that need pallets and sell them in my area, usually around five to seven bucks for a 40 by 48 pallet, a standard pallet. Um, and some of these companies, if you can, there again, if you can show them that you're responsible, you can meet their needs, they'll take hundreds from you. Um, I just don't care for it. Uh, I got other things I'd rather do, but people, there are people who make serious money at this, uh, as long as they're selling, um, the pallets to companies. Um, but even if you just wanted to keep some around your house and sell them on Facebook, bowling them up threes or fives or sevens and, you know, that way you can still make money on it. So... Number seven, being a trailer transporter. This is like delivering RVs, utility trailers, enclosed trailers, just basically any kind of trailer you got. There are several ways you can do this. There again, you'll probably need a CDL, which is why I originally got CDLs to be a trailer transporter. I did this in the late 90s. Work for a company here here out of Oklahoma. If you want to do this, <clears throat> you'll need at least a three-quarter ton. Most companies are going to require at least a three-quarter ton. Some require a minimum of one ton. Back when I did it, uh, I, I pulled for uh, Southeastern Trailer Transport out of Duran, Oklahoma. I don't know if they're still... I think they are still around. I think I've seen one of their trucks the other day. Back then... 
20 years ago, late 90s, whatever, a little over 25 years ago. The rate was 60 cents for a single trailer and 70 cents a mile for double trailers. That sounds a lot, and they, they promised me I would get... <laughs> And this is another thing. Let me just let you in. If you work hot shot or, or trailer transporter, anything you got with a dispatcher, just know that dispatchers lie. Sometimes they lie a lot. <laughs> so, but I told when I, I hired on to them that, oh yeah, we get back calls all the time. I, we'll get you back calls all the time. And I said, okay, cool. My first trip out with them, I hauled a shell from uh, Coleman, Oklahoma to Elkhart, Indiana. Then I drove about 40 or 60 miles north into Michigan, picked up a uh, enclosed trailer. I think it was a Hallmark. I'm not sure. And I had to deliver it back to a dealer in Kansas City. Picked up a Sooner horse trailer in Kansas City and hauled it down to uh, Duncan, Oklahoma, to the Sooner plant down there. I like a four-day trip right there. I made 1800 bucks. I thought, oh boy, we rolling in the money. Well, about the two years I worked for them, I only got three back hauls, and that was one of them right there. <laughs> so, and, you know, they'd always say, well, if you wait around, well, here's the thing about waiting around. You got to sleep someplace, which I usually sleep in my truck. You got to eat, shower, you know. All kinds of good stuff. Some people, though, they'd leave it in their truck for a week waiting for a back call. I wasn't that patient. So, other players in this game that I can remember being big. Most of your players are going to be have some type of office around Elkhart, Middle, Middleton, or Middle, Middlebury. I think it's Middlebury, Goshen, Indiana. That's the RV capital of the world. Um, so, around that area... There's probably a lot of trailer transporters there. Um, but some of the big players I remember, Horizon, Starfleet, Classic, are the three I remember being big. I almost went to work for Horizon when I left Southeastern, but that time I decided to get married and move to Houston, drive for Napa Auto Parts. So, um... And that was the best driving job I I'd ever had. It. So, but um, if you are somebody who are not responsible with money, this ain't gonna work for you. You'll go broke. You'll be. I mean, all the time I hear stories. Someone's stranded in a truck stop or someplace because they're they're out of money. No money for fuel. Part broke down. I ain't got money for parts. So it, you, unless you're driving for somebody, even if you're driving somebody, you still have to be financially responsible or you'll end up someplace in Podunkville, USA, dead broke and um, starving to death. Seen it more than once on the road. Um, I was broke down in Iowa City, Iowa for four days. <laughs> uh, dropped a drive shaft out of my truck. I still think that was the dealer's problem, but no oh well. Uh, anyway, it took them forever to get a drive shaft in, fix it, fix it, and it was a blizzard, no less. So anyway, but I had the money to fix it. They just wouldn't fix it that as quick as I needed them to fix it. But you'll be delivering, like I said, RVs, so uh, gooseneck trailers, bumper pull trailers. So you'll need a RV hitch. You'll need some type of gooseneck hookup, and you'll need a at least a 5,000 pound rated receiver hitch. Um, the good thing is, a lot of these companies, as long as you have your CDL, and some may not require CDL, you just need to check with every company, but some will hire you with no experience. As long as you just tell them, you pull lots of trailers. <laughs> so, something to check out. You can make good, damn good money with, with, with the number five, number seven. But it requires a little bit more effort on your part. So I hope this has helped some of y'all. Get your pickups. Get out there. And you don't need a new pickup. Oh, 1995 Ford F-250 with a 7.3 diesel. With an 8-foot bed, you're golden. You know? So uh, anyway, hope this has helped y'all. Get out there. 
make that money with your pickup. Donald Blue Collar DIY. I got an article over on the blog if you want to take a look at it. Uh, BlueCollarDIY.com. We'll catch you on the next video.